I want to speak about Islam and my experience about Islam. Is it important because we have Muslims who are forced in Sharia uh -huh. everywhere in Europe, in America? They want us to live in the dark ages. People, they feel like democracy is not good. And we don't want a democracy, they want a Sharia. And we're speaking out, saying, no, we don't want a Sharia. We want a democracy. Some Muslims are even uh, today trying to have a Islamic schools where girls and boys should be separate, uh, gender segregated schools, for example. So they are pushing for Sharia and they want to live according to Islamic law and Islamic Sharia. Do you know there are some Muslims in the Social Democrats Party, the Green Party in Sweden, and um, they always demand things and Swedish people are very tolerant and very, I don't know, kind of um, naive. So they will agree with everything they say because they say this is my religion and I wanted this. So the Swedish people will allow, they just say okay, you can, you can have it. So they have now a school where girls and boys have to have a different gene in Sweden. And Swedish people, Swedish women fought so hard to be equal. We are feminist country, Sweden, that's what they say. But now we are facing Muslim minority who want to live according to Sharia. And Swedish people are just backing up, backing, 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 and they, they, don't, stand, they don't stand up for their values. It's, it's sad. You cannot say any issues um, about uh, Islam or about Muslim or the Muslims uh, minority demanding uh, Sharia. Ah. If you say something like that, you are racist. If you stand up for, for Sweden and uh, Swedish values and democratic values, you are racist. It's, um, the racist the car flies directly to your face when you say you stand up for Swedish values. They, they cannot even say Swedish values because uh, then you are racist. Have you been accused of being a racist? Oh yes, many times, many times. It's, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? It's madness, but uh, the, the racist car is, is about silencing you. It's a tactic they use. So it doesn't matter if you are black or, or white, you will get that always. You are fascist, you are hateful, and all kind of things. It's just to silence you. It's, uh, it's difficult. I will speak about my experience about Islam. Because I'm ex-Muslim. I used to be a Muslim and I left Islam. And because of that, I have to be killed according to Islamic Sharia. So there are some Muslims, I don't say every Muslim is threatening me, but some Muslims who want to use that law and kill me. So I, I have to live under protected address because of that.